Welcome to our 2022 Summer Orientation. My name is Annie Pham and I am the Site Supervisor at the Richmond Teen Center. Today's video will briefly go over policies and procedures, as well as field trips, payments, and other imp important information to know as you register for our summer camp this year. Our summer program will begin on Monday, June 6th and end on Friday, August 5th. We will be closed in observance of Independence Day on July 4th. Our doors will be open to families to immerse themselves in our clubs and learn about all we have to offer this upcoming summer. At the open house, you'll be able to meet staff, administration, and get all your questions answered regarding the program. Families with members between kinder and fifth grade will be welcomed at our main branch location on April 22nd and May 26th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Families with members fifth and up will be welcomed at our Richmond branch on April 28th and May 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Per our Richmond branch policies, all members 13 and older must participate in at least five programs each week to avoid the $80 weekly rate. Teens that do not participate in at least five programs each week will be required to pay the regular rates effective immediately. Richmond members are allowed to walk home with the parent or guardian consent. The parent or guardian must call or message via ProCare the Richmond location and release their child for the day. Hi, my name is Destiny Hernandez and I'm the site supervisor here at our main branch. Let's talk about COVID awareness. Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton agrees to clean and sanitize our club and commonly used areas continuously throughout the day. Per state guidelines, all Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton staff will be strongly encouraged to wear a protective face covering at all times as of March 14th, 2022. We encourage members to wash their hands frequently throughout the day. Hand sanitizer will also be available in several areas throughout the day. We kindly ask all parents and members to agree to not coming to the club if a member is sick. If you suspect that your child may be sick or ill, please keep members home. If staff suspect that a child may be ill, you may be called to pick up your child and require pickup within one hour. Each family will have the option to send their child to the club without a mask. Per CDC guidelines, as of March 1st, 2022, if you were exposed to COVID-19 and they are not up to date on COVID vaccinations, please quarantine for at least five days. Get tested at least five days after you had the last close contact with someone with COVID-19. If you were exposed to COVID-19 and are up to date on COVID-19 vaccinations, you do not need to quarantine. Please get tested at least five days after you last had close contact with someone with COVID-19. Now moving on to our payment information. Cost of attendance. Our registration fee is $30 for your first child. One summer t-shirt is included. Or $50 per household with two or more children. Two summer shirts are also included. Additional t-shirts will be $10 each. Main branch weekly fee. Option A. Kindred's are $130. First through fifth grade are $120 for your first child. It will be $110 for each additional child. Option B, $50 for a daily fee. Richmond Branch Weekly Fee, Option A. Fifth through eighth grade will be $80 for your first child and $70 for each additional child. Teens. Teens are free. They must participate in at least five programs each week in order to remain free. Option B, $35 for a day. Hi, my name is Alexa, and I am the membership director here at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton. I will be going over program payment policies with you. Payments will always be due by the Friday before our services are provided. All payments will be made through our ProCare app. Your tax statement can be accessed through the website version of ProCare. All outstanding balances must be paid before you can enroll your child at any Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton branch. There will be no refunds. Members that do not show up for field trips will forfeit their payment. Please plan accordingly. I also wanted to go over a few features on the ProCare app. In the first example photo, you should see a red box around a QR code icon. If you click the icon, it will take you to a camera screen. If this is your first time using this feature, you will have to click allow for the app to access your camera. A blue button will light up at the bottom of the screen. 
Click Sign In and select which children are attending for the day if you have more than one. Once the members are selected, click Sign In. It's important to note that you will only have access to sign your child in or out as long as you are in close proximity to the main branch. For our Richmond Preteen and Teen Center location, there will be a QR code available on site for, your, for you to scan upon arrival. This will be the sign in and out process you must complete every day. Another important feature is staff messaging. There is a message box icon at the top right of the page. If you click this icon, you will be able to message them to let them know that you are here. We also use messaging to communicate any club happenings and updates. Another aspect of the app is how you make payments. If you do have a balance, there will be a notification at the top of your child's profile that lets you know what your balance is. When you do make a payment, there will be your total amount due with an edit button next to it. If you need to make a smaller payment or a payment on multiple cards, you can utilize this option. Another thing to note when making a payment is if this is your first time on the app, you will need to allow one to two days for your bank to process and allow a transaction between you and the ProCare app. I also included a screenshot of what I previously discussed with your tax statements. You will be able to download as a PDF or print. You will click the statement and it will prompt you with the time frame of the statement that you are requesting. Hello, my name is Sophia Pineda and I am the Area Director for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton. I will be going over the policies and procedures. Breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch will be provided by Our Little Helpers on a daily basis at no extra cost. Breakfast will be served at 8.30 a.m. and lunch will be served at 12 p.m. We cannot heat up and or microwave any food at the club. A monthly menu will be posted at our front desk. Club policies. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton are not responsible for children dropped off early or picked up late. The following fees will apply at 6 p.m. $1 for every minute until 6.15 p.m. and $2 per minute after 6.15 p.m. If your child is not picked up by 6.30 p.m., they will be taken to the Fullerton Police Department. Excessive tardiness may result in the dismissal from the summer program. The front is an unsupervised area. Members are not allowed to loiter, sit, or stand in that area. Parents are required to drop off and pick up their child inside the Fullerton Community Center. Members are required to check in with the staff upon arrival and departure. Our safe passage policy states that once a member signs in for the day, he or she can only exit the club with a parent, guardian, or emergency contact. Please bring a form of identification to pick up members from the club. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton will not assume liability for any child that intentionally exits the facility. Due to a limited amount of spaces, cubbies will be available on a first-come, first-served basis. Siblings must share cubbies. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton are not responsible for members' lost, damage, or stolen items. The clubs reserve the right to ban any items that cause consistent problems with their program. Handheld electronics such as video game units are not allowed at the club. iPads are allowed on an educational basis only. Members are allowed to bring their cell phones but may not use them at their leisure. Staff will maintain a lost and found of lost items. All unclaimed items will be donated every two weeks. Members must not wear any clothing considered to be offensive or in poor taste at staff discretion. Children are required to wear closed-toed shoes at all times. Please have your child wear athletic shoes when participating in gym and outdoor activities. For pool use or field trips that require bathing suits, all children must wear a one-piece bathing suit or a swim shirt and trunks. Parents will be held responsible for any broken club equipment or facility damage due to improper use or abuse by their child. Parents will be responsible for either replacing or paying for repairs to any club or bladed damage. Never send medicine with a child. A request must be submitted in writing to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton if staff need to hold on prescription medicine for your child, along with the doctor's note. It is the child's responsibility to remember when to take his or her medication, and it is the parent's responsibility to keep track of the medication supply. If child is visibly ill or has head lice, they must immediately be picked up and cannot return until illness or the lice has been cleared. Our three-part discipline policy states, if a child demonstrates negative behavior, staff will first offer a verbal warning. If the problem continues, the child will be redirected and excused from all ongoing activities. The third time, the child will receive a written reprimand and the parent will be notified of the incident. Members will be placed on behavior contracts at management's discretion. 
Under no circumstances should a parent discipline, argue with, accost, or admonish a club member, parent, or staff on club property. If you have a problem with anyone affiliated with the club, please schedule a meeting to discuss your concern with the site supervisor. Hello, my name is Michael Lozano, and I am the Transportation Director for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton. Field Trips Our policies and procedures are as follows. First come, first paid basis. Field trips must be paid in full in order to reserve a spot. Field trip permission slips must be filled out in order to participate. For all field trips, members must wear their 2022 Boys and Girls Clubs of Fullerton summer t-shirt. If your child does not wear their 2022 t-shirt, the staff reserves the right to withdraw your child from the field trip or you may, be per you may purchase another t-shirt for $10. Please provide a booster seat for your child if they have not reached the height of 4.9 feet and or they have not reached their eighth birthday. Field trip dates are as follows. Main branch, first through third graders are on Tuesday. Fourth through fifth grade are on Wednesday and the kinder field trips are on Friday. The teen center will have Thursday as their field trip day. To register for field trips, go on our website at bgcfullerton.com. Under the field trip tab, enter the password SUMMER22 to access field trips. Thank you, and we look forward to a fun filled summer.